memorized in from your teacher works for this one, right? Because you guys can see this isn't really written as a fraction. So if you just want to stay, keep, flip, whatever, like that's fine. Like you understand here that this can be rewritten as a product of the reciprocal. So let's factor everything and do that. So this can be factored into an x minus 2 times x minus 1 all over x. I can rewrite this now as a multiplication problem. I'm going to factor out a 3x squared, or cubed, I'm sorry, to leave me with an x minus 2. This I need to factor in my numerator. So again, I'm saying what two numbers multiply a? Oh man, I gave you guys all the when a is not equal to 1. You guys are lucky. Um, so they both need to add to 1. It needs to be a sum. And since they need to add to give me a negative, that means both the factors need to be negative. Do I have any options? They both have to multiply to give me 1. It's a sum, so they're both positive or both negative. But they're adding to give me a negative number. So should they both be positive or both be negative? There you go. I didn't even have to think about that one. I'm done. Like, I have no options. That's it. That's the only one that works. And I can always check, right? Negative 3x, negative 1x, negative 4x. But a lot of the factoring problems, guys, don't have to be as hard um, as a lot of times you make it. Now, in this case, I'm not going to multiply them all together. I'm just going to apply the division property where I see fit. All right? Now, notice here, I have an x in the denominator and x to the third. So again, we could use like the rules of exponents, right? If I had x cubed over x to the first, that's just an x squared, right? So then in my numerator, I'm going to have a 3x squared. x minus 2 times x minus 2 could also be rewritten as an x minus 2 squared. Could you simplify that? Could you actually expand that and combine like terms? Yes. Um, in your free response, I will be OK with I'll tell you when and where I want you guys to simplify. All right. Um, and then for my denominator, I just have a 3x minus 1. So therefore, we see, well, what values then make my denominator equal to 0? x cannot equal 0, 1, and a positive 1 third. So since I 